Alright, we got the uh, MCS computer here. Basically what we've done is uh, I'm using an AC adapter, uh, 14 volts just to simulate a car battery. The computer doesn't take a whole lot of power, so that's, that's enough power to power it just fine. Um, it, can, it can withstand startups, starting the car, low voltage, high voltage. It's, it's, it can take a lot of abuse and it won't turn off, it won't restart, it won't do anything. Um, so what I've got here, i got the monitor plugged in. The USB port for the monitor because it's touch screen. That's how it transfers. It's basically like a mouse. Uh, I got power right here, and this is just audio for the monitor. Just to sh you know, you can simulate that being hooked up to an amp uh, or basically any kind of audio output. Uh, it's going to play sound through that uh, monitor though. All right, I am going to power up. Got a five second on delay. This is basically the equivalent of turning the ignition on. And I don't know if you can hear it, but it just the fan started over here. And the monitor. It's a fairly quick startup time. Uh, I know it's not the fastest computer in the world, but it's acceptable startup time. You'll see. Uh, you'll see it start up. Dim a couple of lights for you here. Windows XP, I believe I have Service Pack 3 on here at this point. Um, either way, uh, it's uh, all the updates are available if you want them. Starts up as a normal computer, and I have it set to start this program called Centrifuge, I believe it's called, right away when you start the computer. And what it is. Uh, it's, a, it's a real nice program for doing things in your car. Uh, it's got navigation. If you have radio built into your computer or XM, uh, it, it works with the Bluetooth for phone and DVDs. Uh, you can have a backup camera, equalizer. Um, just, uh, it's got, uh, you can play your music in there. We can also, it's got videos and pictures. Uh, touch screen works real good. And, uh, just a sweet program. It's got navigation. Uh, I don't have the sensor, the uh, GPS sensor hooked up yet. Um, you will get it in the auction, though. It's, it's got like a 12 foot wire on it. It's magnetic, so it can go on top of the car or inside the car. But, uh, this has. Uh, overhead view, where you can change it to 3D, just like all the new GPS units. Um, I've got all the maps for US and Canada and some other countries on there. That was an extra 80 bucks or something for all the extra maps. Uh, it's really a sweet navigation program, better than any Garmin or anything like that I've ever used. Uh, let me turn it down a little bit here. Got volume right there on the monitor. Um, it's got uh, all the points of interest, just like a Garmin would, or any any kind of GPS. Um, there's a lot of them. It's, it's just a it's a pretty big program, and they really do a good job at covering you know all the airports, museums, ATMs, everything like that. You know wherever you want, it'll find it for you on GPS. Um, this is pretty much the program that most people are going to be using with the computer in their car does also function as a normal computer though, same as your home computer would. Um, still touch screen while you're on the desktop or you can use a mouse, it doesn't matter. Um, I find uh, if I'm moving around on the desktop, it's easy, I just use a mechanical pencil to, to click things. Uh, with no lead in it, obviously. But uh, I'll show you what the computer is. Um, you just hold it down to right click. Uh, I have 80 gigabytes of hard drive space on here total. On one hard drive it's been partitioned into two. Uh, so you can put all your music and movies and everything on there. And your operating system is on C. Uh, you can change that if you like. It's up to you. Uh, I have some automotive... Let me change hands here. It's easier to do this with my right hand. I've got some automotive tuning programs on here that you're going to get with it if you want them. Uh, you can choose to keep them. If not, that's up to you. Uh, this is a 
pretty powerful program. It's called Cat's Tuner. Um, let's see what we can pull up for you here. You know, it's got it's got all graphs and everything for tuning fuel and spark and all that. It's a very powerful program. Also quite expensive, and the license is included in this uh, sale. Uh, but for the computer itself, hard to stay still when I'm recording, but you just hold it down to right click. There we go. It is a Intel Celeron uh, 220 running at 1.2 gigahertz, uh, 512 MB of RAM. Uh, actually, it's Service Pack 2, sorry about that, I didn't update the 3 yet. Um, but the things that are in this computer. We've got a Bluetooth adapter built in, um, the 80 gigabyte hard drive, um, SIS graphics. Uh, we got the touch screen, uh, touch screen for the mouse, or you can use a USB mouse if you'd like. Uh, I got Bluetooth adapter in here. I've got wireless internet in built into the computer. And then it's got just the regular port, just like a normal computer would have. Um, in case you ever want to wire it, hardwire it, you know, somewhere, anywhere, I have no idea why you would, but... And then there's the processor. Um, I guess that'd probably be about it for the computer. It's, it's, if you've used a computer before, you'll be able to use this, and with the help of this nifty little program, it uh, makes a real neat addition to any car. Um, it does have a feature built in where when you turn the ignition off, basically when you're wearing this up, what you're going to do, you're going to use positive, negative, and then a remote, just like you would a car amplifier. Positive is always going to be on, negative is always going to be on, and the computer will turn on when the remote signal gets power from the ignition, and it'll turn off, it'll shut down the computer the proper way. Uh, when uh, five minutes after you turn the ignition off, so you don't have to worry about harsh shutdowns and uh, things like that. Thank you very much.